Hey everybody, Norm over here, and I've got two of my favorite guitar players. I say that all the time, I'm sorry, but we get so many great guitar players in here, but these are really some of my favorites. My buddy Joe over here, Joe Bonamassa, the great Doyle Bramhall Jr. And Doyle is played with everybody, as people know. Just tell them, Eric, who else? I mean, and, and he plays with Doyle also, too. Yeah, I play with myself a lot. <laughs> and Doyle Sr. also is a great musician. Yeah, yeah, I played, uh, I played some with Roger Waters and Cheryl Crow and Eric Clapton and uh, been around for many years just doing it. I remember seeing you when you were very young at Anton's. Uh, you know, I used to be friends with Clifford Anton and he said, you got to see this guy. You know, so. Yeah, I grew up with Clifford and yeah. uh, he sort of took me under his wing and um, I, I got to play with a lot of, um, you know, the original blues guys right. uh, because of him. He would always bring me down. He would call me up and say, hey, Muddy's band's here, all the original guys from Muddy's band, come down, I want you to sit in with them, and he'd get me up with them, or Hound Dog Taylor, you know, that his band would be playing, Ted Harvey, the drummer, and I'd get up and jam with him, and Hubert, and it was, uh, it was a pretty amazing experience. Clifford really did a lot for helping those guys too, because at the time their careers probably weren't quite that great, and he kind of put them back on the map. Yeah, I mean, he he would when nobody was really that interested in it, he would always, uh, um, you know, he would have like a pocket full of cash and just say, "Come on down, I want to, you know, give you the give him a guitar." Too. Yeah, he would he would supply them with guitars and and give them like really beautiful old guitars and and just give them a bunch of cash and finance them. And he would sort of like keep some of them to do residencies at the at, at Anton's. And um, they would just stick around and get paid and go back and they were treated, you know, like royalty down there. Right, where nobody really cared in a lot of other places. And it's funny because you guys both have a similar kind of thing as young men. You were both accepted by the royalty of, of the blues. Well, I think that that was the thing about when I met B.B. King. It was, I, it was really apparent to me, even at 12 years old, that it was really important to him that the music that he created and the legacy that he created was was passed on and kept going, you know. And, you know, that 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 that's a testament to, like, who he was, you know, because he, he was selfless, you know. He would give you advice and and a stage and you know he he booked my band on a tour you know i mean he did it for everybody you know and and that's the thing you know the lesson i learned from him more so than anything was the fact that you have to encourage the younger generation to keep going because the music dies real quick if there's no no movement that's why I like you know like i think you know what we're doing today on youtube or whatever um, is there's so many great guitar players now that are playing music and they're filming themselves and they put themselves out there and they're making, you know, and there's young people playing, you know, and it, that's, that's, that's really good to see and it's not just, you know, music made from an iPad. Right. I, I, it's encouraging. Keeps and, it as I hold a Gretsch guitar, which is encouraging as well. Yeah, this is a little out of the ordinary here, but I've known you to play a couple Gretsch guitars on occasion. You sold me a very nice um, 6119 uh, a few years ago, and I still have that. I have a 58 Cadillac Green Country Club, and I have an arch top that I bought from you as well, Synchromatic 400. And that's about as much Gretsch fun as I, 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 I need. You had a Gretsch guitar at one time, too, didn't Elliot's you? guitar, right? Yeah, it was a, a Duajet or a Jet yeah. or a Sparkle Jet. Yeah, it was. Did he play left hand upside down or just left handed? I can't remember. Um, it was Elliot Easton who yeah. had the guitar. No, he plays regular left-handed, oh, straight okay. lefty. But uh, yeah, I had that guitar for a while. Yeah. yeah. And when you and when you sold him this guitar, was it mint or was it? Uh, well, it didn't have a it lot was, of uh, wear. I think yeah, there's a lot of real wear on that guitar. But, but yeah, it was it was it was pretty mint. That was in the late '80s, right? Yes, it was. And you were a kid. I was a kid. Yeah, I was five. Yeah, I was. Or older. Maybe I was older. Yeah. I was seven. <laughs> I don't think so. Add a zero after that seven. So, and, and Doyle, well, you're getting ready to go to Europe? And yeah, I'm in the middle of, I was just in Europe for seven weeks and doing Northern Europe, European tour and uh, UK dates. 
and uh, we're going back and doing uh, Italy, Spain, France, uh, doing the North Sea Jazz Fest. And um, yeah. you guys are like crossing paths almost in almost, a lot of places. Yeah, yeah. yeah every, all the gigs that we played over there, we would see posters of them up that, either the day before or after. The damn yellow poster. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's it's funny because like a lot of times, you know, you, you go over to Europe and or anywhere in your tour and you see people that you want to go see play, but you're either there the day before or the day after. And that was ha literally was literally. Every day, every day it was like you know oh Doyle's in town tomorrow, okay well we're not you know and then it it never worked out where I can go go see the gig but some of my band went and saw you guys in I want to say Munich or one of those towns and it was great. So. One of so those Bavarian towns. One, one of those one of those you know Stut you know Stuttgart or you know Porsche or BMW I don't even know. But, uh, so one question: this crappy old guitar that's all messed up with all that wear, uh -huh. does that still play and does it sound any good? Yeah, it's my. Uh, can you show it me? It is my. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could show you how, if it sounds good or not, but uh, I think it. You um, it's definitely been my favorite guitar for many years, and I, I remember when I came in to get this guitar, and then um, you know I had recorded a record with it. I also bought two, I think '68 Super Bass Plexis to go with this thing and recorded, and that was uh, that was definitely a good sound. Um... That sounds brighter than... The cool thing is that actually Joe could play this guitar. I, I could. A left-handed guitar. I could play the guitar. <laughs> And it would actually work. Here. Oh, oh, sorry. Beat up the. It actually would. Wow. I, you know, I, 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 I had on loan um, Albert King's uh, Dan Erlewin V um, for a, a tour we did in tribute to BB Albert and Freddie a couple of years ago, and and I, I had this thing where. I had to play the guitar. It was it was it was upside down, and I I remember like the, having the controls up here is like just freaky, yeah. you know, because I live on the volume and. And it's and it's like I've never played a strat upside down like this, but it's it's cool. Why you like it? Nice neck. <laughs> yeah. So Norm's Rare Guitars has a special offer right now. Anybody that bought a guitar from us like 35 years ago that was like a pre-CBS Strat, I am willing to give all their money back Plus to have dollar. this guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so just keep that in mind, Doyle. If uh, this thing grows too old on you, you know where to cut. <laughs> That's cool. That's light. Sweet, is, that, Wait, is it? Look, look yes. at the. Uh, yeah. So, anyhow, right here at Norm's Rare Guitars, we've got the great Joe Bonamassa, the great Doyle Brian Hall Jr., and me, and you know, but we're having a good time on the couch here at Norm's Rare Guitars. Two of the greats right here. Thank you guys for watching. Woo!